ready. We're ready. It's a good day for us. <laughs> we have been anxious to, uh, to come together and introduce a revenue sharing bill, uh, a bill that we think has great opportunity in this Congress. And it's an opportunity to, to really correct uh, inequities within the, the revenue sharing system that, that is currently in place. And so today, Senator Landrieu and I have, have come together to announce the, the unveiling of the FAIR Act, the Fixing America's Inequity with Revenues. <laughs> the title really says it all. So I think that kind of puts it in, into context. But essentially what, what our legislation will do is to provide up to 37.5% of all revenues that come from offshore development to the coastal states. And this includes the revenues not only from oil and gas, which is what we, we obviously have associated revenue sharing with, but also revenues um, from the development of our alternative and our renewable energy resources, whether they be offshore wind, whether it's ocean energy that comes through the, through the waves, through the tides. These are opportunities for us that we have not yet pursued. States would automatically receive 27.5% of these revenues, 25% of which would go to the coastal communities that are most impacted by offshore development. I have had so many opportunities to be, whether in committee or in other venues with Senator Landrieu, when she speaks immediately and directly to those impacts that, uh, that the coastal communities, those co coastal states, uh, have to absorb. Now, we willingly want to, to access these resources. They provide good jobs and, and benefits, most certainly. But there is impact. There is undeniably impact. So is it not right, is it not appropriate to allow for a level of compensation? We certainly believe so. In addition to the 27.5% that goes to the coastal states, an additional 10% uh, is, is made available to states if they establish funds to support projects relating to clean energy or, or conservation. And I think this is a very important part of our concept within this legislation. We want to do more to encourage the development, the research and, and development, uh, the build out of our, of our clean energy sources. What better way to do that than to help pay for that from some of our, of our offshore uh, energy opportunities? But also on the conservation side, the efficiency side. So when we look to how we can make a difference, plenty of good ideas out there, but always you come back to, well, how do you pay for it? Well, we are offering up an opportunity to the states who want to move on clean energy initiatives, who want to move on efficiency, or who want to do more when it comes to conservation. So through this additional 10%, the states can do just that. Now, in addition, this legislation goes even further. I feel like it's a Ginsu knife commercial, eh, Daniel? And there's more to come here. But what, what we are uh, uh, laying out with this legislation is that states will receive 50% of revenues collected from the development of alternative and renewable energy sources, whether it's solar, wind, or what have you, on the federal lands within their borders. So this is essentially the same 50-50 revenue split that we currently have for coal, for oil, for natural gas. So what we're doing is we're extending that to the renewables as well. I think we have recognized that when it comes to revenue sharing, why should it just be limited to, to the traditional sources of oil and gas? Um, why would we not include that, expand that to accommodate our renewable energy sources? I think it's important to, to note that this bill doesn't open up any new areas for energy production. Basically what it does is it puts revenue sharing, a mechanism in place for states where the development may occur. Uh, there will be some criticism. People will say, well, wait a minute. You can't be taking money away from the federal treasury to give to the states. Well, keep in mind that still 62.5% 
flows to the federal government for the benefit of all Americans, so that continues. But what does happen is that funds will go to those states that are the contributors, but who also uh, bear some of the impact there. I'm excited about the proposal that we have advanced. I'm looking forward to now taking it out, seeking input from our colleagues. We have purposely expanded this legislation to bring in a coalition of members to, to gain their, their support. We know that in this day and age, it's a 60-vote it's a world out there in the United States Senate. Uh, what we have done is we have looked at revenue sharing from a fresh approach, a smart approach, and one that I believe will be a successful approach. And I thank my colleague, Senator Landrieu, for her continued leadership on this issue for so, so many years. Uh, together, I think we're going to make it happen. And with that, I turn to my great friend and colleague. Thank you.